this week's Unsung Hero takes us to Saline County. It's been really hard for residents at long term care facilities during the pandemic due to restrictions that have hindered visitations from loved ones. On April 13th, administrators at Carrier Mills Nursing and Rehabilitation Center were forced to tell families that regular visits could no longer go on. Since then, staff has tried to spread a little joy. Hey. Now this is just one of the parades held inside the facility on a regular basis. Rain or shine, staff are doing their best to make sure residents are always having fun and smiling. The staff have gone above and beyond creating theme days multiple times a week like Twin Day, National Bowling Day and Cruise Ship Day, which was held last Friday. They've also got residents involved in activities like basketball, playing the guitar, balloon pop and even their version of Hungry Hungry Hippos. Now many of the activities have been recorded and posted to the facility's Facebook page and you can see residents having a good time playing, laughing and even dancing. One of the more popular videos is the staff dressed up as you see here in inflatable costumes. To some, this may not seem like much, but with COVID-19 being a dark cloud, this means the world to the residents and their families. This is our family here and we would do anything to, in the world to make sure our family stays happy and safe and healthy. So um, this is just one big family here at Carrier Mills. It's been extremely hard. It's been extremely hard for the residents, the families and our staff. Um, we're a very family oriented facility. So it's been hard not to have that physical contact with the families. And the facility had to shut down the outdoor visitations for a while, but are getting ready to start those back up. In the meantime, they've made it possible to see loved ones in other ways like FaceTime, Google Duo and window visitations. Now, right now, the facility has 86 residents and Barter says she's thankful to the families and the community for all their support at this time. What a good time they have there. Yes, well, I'm also happy to report with so many cases hitting long term care facilities, CMNRC has not had one resident or staff member test positive for COVID-19. Barter says that's thanks to their infection control policies. So a big well done to you all being our unsung hero this week and to the staff there.